Spine Symposium, uh, we started 12 years ago, and it was really meant to integrate non-operative care providers with those of us who do surgery on patients. Um, we try to get everybody together and learn from each other and uh, try to determine the best ways to treat patients, either operatively or non-operatively. I would recommend this conference, yes. I think it's very well paced. I enjoyed all the speakers. They were really easy to understand. It's also extremely relevant to my practice and I love the area. I'm going to Napa Valley after this. <laughs> my talk is about reduction of high-grade spondylolisthesis. It's an unusual but particularly challenging problem for which there's a lot of controversy. I have to say that I most enjoyed Dr. Jim Rainville's talk this morning on the science behind exercise and its effect on back pain. I come to this course every year because it's a great update on the spine. And this is my first time at the conference. I've always been inspired and, and stimulated by my dad to attend here. And I'm intrigued and uh, challenged by what I'm hearing thus far, both for interpretation in my practice as well as looking forward to the future of my own career. I'm looking forward particularly to the, uh, to the cannabinoids discussion that's upcoming, um, both as it relates to societal and, e and economic trends and also just for personal pain management and the patients that I work with. I have been coming to this meeting for at least a decade, so and it's one of my favorite meetings, to be honest. So number one, it attracts uh, all local community of um, multi-specialty groups, so, and it's uh, uh, such a unique opportunity to um, learn and interact and network you know, with the specialists like myself as well as uh, uh, conjoined specialties. All, all the talks have been quite informative. I especially like the talk on spinal cord stimulator. I like the talk uh, about uh, integrating the neurosurgery and the spine surgery programs together. Uh, uh, so those were the best talks that I felt. Uh, also about uh, some new things like uh, use of can uh, cannabis and its derivatives for pain control in spine surgery. Uh, those were pretty interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, de uh, the deformity session tomorrow. Yeah, that's something that's really interesting for me. Uh, my talk was on integrated spine care and how we uh, can do an interdisciplinary uh, program where we bring in a lot of different subspecialties to treat a larger, larger patient population. The symposium is, is a fantastic uh, venue to get everybody together that treat the same patient population. You know, we can hear all the controversies and all the, uh, the merits and limitations of the various literature from pain management or the pain art uh, folks uh, and bring it all together in one venue uh, with the spine surgeons, I think it's fantastic.